that's the first thing that you really want to align on though. Um, so at least everyone can agree on what it costs to build versus buy. Um, so I mentioned before that there have been systems for a while um, that do screen reading. Um, in the past, this was exclusively referred to as RPA or robotic process automation. Um, and this was one of those precursor forms of AI. Um, this term's kind of going away and people are just generically saying, you're gonna chat GPT that, or you're gonna use Claude to control your computer. Um, but that idea of controlling a computer is um, at least a derivative of initial technologies in RPA or robotic process automation. Um, so again, the idea here is that a computer um, program or over the internet, a service like ChatGPT um, is able to see what's going on on your computer, uh, to see your screen or read your screen, hence the term screen reader or screen reading. Um, it's using uh, computer vision analysis uh, in order to interpret that. And then it might do things like click on buttons or go to menus. Um, in the past, this has probably been used the most for um, corporate use of legacy systems, right? So if you use a modern computer system, typically they're going to be API calls that you can use to get data in and out and make queries. If you're using some kind of antique system, uh, the only way to interface with it may be to just type things in on a keyboard, uh, right? So rather than have people sitting around typing in on keyboards all the time, um, it's potentially better to do robotic process automation um, and have a computer essentially clicking on things for you. Um, this has grown, obviously, to do more complex things, but robotic process automation initially began as a technology uh, to allow automations within legacy programs that didn't support automation initially. Another uh, term that comes up is deep learning versus machine learning. Um, people probably use them a little bit interchangeably. Deep learning is just more at kind of a corporate level, right? So ChatGPT might be trained using deep learning um, versus machine learning is kind of smaller amounts of training. Um, but initial models are created, um, you know, kind of in a factory looking server room, like the one in this image. Um, where you need to have a ton of these processors. Um, I would say if this was an AI server room, it would probably have more cooling uh, because these processors get really hot. Um, but again, if this is mostly a difference in skip. Um, one other term that comes up for training AI systems that I think is important is cleaning and labeling data. Um, so data typically will come in an unclean fashion, uh, meaning not that it's dirty, but it hasn't been organized yet. Um, so it's really important to get that data organized, to get it labeled, to get it structured, um, to put it into tables or something similar like that effectively. Um, So in order to digest that data, um, it's really important to um, have it structured in an effective way. In order to um, train an AI, another important thing that's done is called reinforcement learning uh, or human feedback, it can also be abbreviated RLHF. Um, the idea here is that an AI gives you an output and then you grade it. You tell it what you think of that output, uh, what the quality of it is. Um, this allows the system to learn and to figure out like if it's doing a good job, right? Mm -hmm.